Hey guys, uh, this is Lei from Goldfish Corner. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. Um, are you ready? It's a different type of goldfish eyes. If you are new, please subscribe my channel. And uh, also make sure you check uh, the video description, which include all the links, information, and tips. So recently, I got a chance to read this old book. It's just called uh, The Goldfish. This book actually published in 1948. In one of the page when I read this book, and you can see they have a very detailed goldfish eye type recorded in this book. That's actually interesting to me. As a matter of fact, uh, those four telescope eye types is actually pretty accurate. But we do have some new telescope eye types uh, just developed recently. So I think today, um, why don't we just uh, dive deeper and talk about all the different types of goldfish eyes, not just limited by telescopes. All right, let's get started. So if you see this screen is give you a diagrammatic vertical section of the fish eye. This is a pretty generic. This is not only for goldfish, this is actually for the normal uh, fish. You don't have to remember all the names. And as far as you can remember, two names. One is uh, Scalaria, and the second one is Cornea. It's sufficient to identify different type of goldfish eyes. So this, as you can see on the screen, this is normal uh, eyes. I have two red cup uh, goldfish, it's beautiful. The normal eyes are the same as wild fish. If you look from the top or look from the side, uh, you don't see any pop-ups on the fish eyes. And this one is actually my favorite, it's called Celestial Eyes. It's not a telescope. So first appeared uh, back to 1870s in China. The telescope eye is just uh, uh, turning upward, glazing the sky. So the Chinese name for Celestials is actually called Wang Tian. It literally means glazing the sky. Uh, it has pretty smooth back, so celestial is eggfish, no dorsal fin. As you can see, those two, uh, this is super big celestial eyes. Uh, if, I, if I pause here, for this fish, you actually you can see uh, three circles. The inner circle is the pupil, the second circle is uh, cornea, the third circle, the black circle, is uh, scalary. So this is like a three circle eyes, very famous. Uh, it's suited for, uh, actually for the top view, obviously. Okay, now let's talk about the telescope. I referred to the four pictures that are recorded from 1948. The first one is spherical. Uh, this, is, this one is a very uh, common type of telescope goldfish. The butterfly uh, goldfish always has the uh, telescope eyes, and most of the telescope eyes is spherical. The scalar uh, shape becomes a sphere. And this one is also the common uh, uh, spherical telescope eyes. As you can see, the generic attribute of the telescope can transfer to the other breed uh, through the crossbreeding. Like this one, the early on I show the red cup, and this one, the red cup becomes a red cup telescope. This is the second type of telescope mentioned in the 1948 Goldfish book. It's called ovoid. <clears throat> the elongated scalaria becomes a oval shape. And this is the second one. You can see the same thing here, the elongated scalaria here. The scalaria here become a oval shape. This is the type of B telescope eyes. And now I only found one segmented sphere telescope, black butterfly. And uh, they actually has a has a two sphere. Let me let me play the video again. So the let's see. So the sm small sp uh, sphere is cornea. It's a bigger sphere. Uh, basically, is uh, scalaria. All right. So this one is quite interesting. Uh, this is a uh, relatively rare telescope. Uh, it's in recording the book of uh, 1948. It's called a truncated corn telescope eyes and um, <clears throat> is if you can see the scalaria it's become um, a corn shaped 
uh, it's truncated on top and then it's just a cornea. Uh, this is the truncated corn. I think this name is pretty uh, dry. And uh, so Chinese people has a, a good imagination. They actually find it's actually similar shape as Chinese yellow cattle horns. You can see this is a Chinese yellow cattle. It's not like a long horn in Texas. It's pretty short and the horn is just pointed upward. That's exactly the same shape as the truncated uh, corn. So uh, you may call this a truncated corn or uh, Chinese breeder normally call it the uh, cattle horn eyes. Now this one is, I can still consider it as a spherical shape, but this is relatively new. Many uh, pro breeder in China called Apple Telescope Eye. It just uh, scalary becomes a super big sphere. Um, as you can see for this one, it's a beautiful round, almost like a ping pong ball shape on each side of the eye. Just keep, my, keep in mind, uh, the telescope eyes does not have a good vision. Most of them are pretty blind. Okay, so this one is it's not recorded in the 1948 um, Goldfish books, but it's actually one of the pretty old uh, eye type of telescope uh, butterflies. So the scalary is almost grow like a broad bean shaped. It's not severe, as you can see. So this is US quarter. It's pretty big. And uh, if you look at it from the top, almost like oval shape, uh, but if you look at it from the shape, that's exactly the same shape of the uh, broad beans. So a uh, very smart name. Uh -huh. uh, so the second one, I don't think this one recorded, this one not recorded in the Goldfish book back in 1948. And they have a very interesting name. Uh, so the scalaria becomes an abacus beet, or maybe more friendly name to the Western group. Um, breeder is called a donuts. I think it's called a donut shape. But if you look at this picture, this the in terms of the shape, in terms of the color, the apex bead is just the right name for this kind of a telescope eyes. Oh, obviously this is uh, has another uh, white butterfly with black uh, apex beads uh, telescope eyes. So this one is interesting. So obviously if this one is called bulb telescope eyes. It's not recorded in the goldfish book back to 1948. This one actually used to be pretty popular back to 1960 and then it's become extinct. Uh, recently got recovered through some uh, Chinese pro breeders. I just got this video uh, early of this year. Now I share with you. That's a pretty, uh, uh, you know, pretty quick update for you guys. Um, so the cornea obviously extruded like uh, a light bulb, which is very interesting. All right, now I want to share a few type of goldfish eyes, but not from the shape, it's more from the color. So the first one is cinnabar eyes. Everyone knows the cinnabar is kind of a red color mineral. So this goldfish is based on color, not based on shape. And many friends ask me, hey Lei, why do you go fancy? Why don't you call it just red eyes? Well, um, there's nothing wrong called it white eye, but I can, give you some flavor of culture. This name is actually uh, came from the goldfish culture. So cinnabar ink, back to the old time, is exclusively used only by Chinese empire. So you can see this one is actually uh, here on the famous uh, uh, Chinese empire back to the Qing dynasty. That is the culture background. That's why many times we don't just call simply red eye. We add some flavor of culture side. We call it cinnabar eyes. The last but not least, we call it grape eyes. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what's the right name for this one. I just made it this name. It's based on the eye color, recently developed, probably this year or last year. Um, nothing fancy. This is a still the spherical um, telescope eye. It just the color, all the other color elements are gone and only left the black color. So you can see um, the picture here. So no matter cornea or no matter the sclera, they all black color. This is another new brand and Chinese breeder never lose any opportunity to develop a new breed. They find this uh, gene permutation and they keep it. They eventually um, 
get an established lines. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please give me a big like and also please subscribe my channel. I give you one more reason to subscribe my channel. Ding ding! You can vote. You can vote for the uh, topics that you like. This is gonna help me to prioritize my channel for future. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.